We hiking. Right? Right. Yeah. That's right. We hiking. Whoa. I'm in the shadows. Now I'm in the sunshine. Oh boy. This lens. So, um, yeah, so I didn't. So look, I have just a little bit of time today. So I made my own workout. This serves two purposes. Uh, firstly, to get a workout in. That's the first purpose. Look, I opened the Power Palace, as you can see. Just a sec. Power Palace, open for business. So I'm gonna do a little, uh, a little, call it the Big Dog Wad. It's short, it's fun, it's nice. It'll provide some nice B-roll for me setting up the topic that I'm gonna talk about later. Here's the workout, it's 15 reps, power snatch, not power snatch, what am I thinking? It's not the power snatch, not at all. 15 reps, power clean, shoulder to overhead, 10 reps, power clean, shoulder to overhead, and then five reps, power clean, shoulder to overhead, four time. Do you know what time is? This is time. Anyway, let's go work out. Whoa! I discovered in the only way that a person ever really learns anything important, the real skill that is required to succeed in life. I mean really succeed. Do good, make a difference, serve. I discovered the key. The key is not efficiency, or probity, or insight, or wisdom. It is not political cunning, interpersonal skills, raw IQ, loyalty, vision, or any of the qualities that the world calls virtues and tests for. The key is a certain capacity that underlies all these qualities. Rather the way that an ability to breathe and pump blood underlies all thought and all action. The underlying key is the ability to deal with boredom. To function effectively in an environment that precludes everything vital and human. To breathe, so to speak, without air. The key is the ability, whether innate or conditioned, to find the other side of the rote, the picayune, the meaningless, the repetitive, the pointlessly complex, to be, in a word, unborable. It is the key to modern life. If you are immune to boredom, there is literally nothing you cannot accomplish. So, not a super long workout. I'm sure most of you could do it in under five minutes. I did it in that amount of time. 10 minutes, 26 seconds. And uh, yeah, that, that was a 135 pound bar for both movements the whole way. I'm gonna get hydrated now because hydration is the key to life and Water makes you a big dog forever. So try that workout at home. It's called the Big Dog Workout by Big Mike. It's a big one. Nope, it's a little one. Hey! I think the neighbors are calling the police now. I'm not too worried. So here I am. Here I sat neath this old apple tree. This one's bad. Whew. 
Who? Those are some sour boys. So you heard me doing a voiceover during that workout of my favorite author, David Foster Wallace, and his thoughts on boredom. Boredom, it has many synonyms. Mundane, tedium, day-to-day, -day, the rat race. Monotony, dullness. His claim is, there is nothing you cannot accomplish if you are immune to boredom. And I think what he's trying to say with this quote is that rather than just enduring boredom, rather than just accepting it as part of your life and simply bearing those situations, we should find ways to extract joy and happiness and love and new experiences from this boredom. Now, oh, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Big Mike, how does this apply to weight loss and health and fitness and all those other things? Going on a weight loss journey or trying to get fit or trying to reach some fitness related goal is really, really difficult. Waking up every morning and going to the gym, meal prepping every Sunday, tracking your calories can be so boring, so mundane, so, mon <coughs> so monotonous that you wanna rip your face off and your hair too. Being able to get to a position in your life where you're okay with that boredom, where you're okay with that tedium, where you can actually not just endure it, but find joy and sacredness. Being able to do that with things that are mundane, being able to do that will not only set you free, but it'll also help you realize that you are not the center of the universe. There are a million little things going on around you every single day. If you're so focused on yourself and how bored you are and how dull the world is, you're going to miss those things. Those things have the very real, the very real potential to bring you joy, to bring you happiness, to teach you something. Slow down, embrace the time, be okay with boredom. If you can do that, you'll be able to experience something as difficult and as full of effort as a weight loss journey. You'll be able to see it with a fresh set of eyes, a fresh heart, and a renewed sense of wonder and excitement. Do not be afraid of boredom. Embrace the boredom. Don't simply endure it and be miserable. Find ways to make yourself happy, to make yourself find joy in the boredom, in the tedium, in the monotony, in the day-to-day, -day, and I promise you'll be as free as a bird. Now get in here, let me do it. That's all I gotta say. Enjoy the journey, peace.